I am who I am with all of my faults and my mistakes. Tomorrow, I might be a tiny bit wiser, and that would be me too. I have come to love myself for who I am, for who I was, and for who I hope to become. Ask me, were you born in this country? And I was immediately offended. And I said, yeah, I was born in this country. And then she says, do you have any kids? I said, no, I don't have any kids. She then asked me if I was married. And then I said, no, ma'am, I am not married. She says, how old are you? I said, 19, may I help you find something? She then says, you are the most beautiful girl I have seen. And I said, oh, thank you. And then she says, I think you could be the next Miss USA. I'm in the army, okay? We don't do pageants in the army. <laughs> she then asked me to meet her at Starbucks the very next day before my next shift at Target. And apparently I was a pretty open-minded 19-year-old because I actually agreed to meet her the very next day. The next day she brought this foot-tall stack of pageant books and proceeds to convince me to enter into a state pageant. So three months later, I compete in my first pageant and I lose. I go back the second year, compete in the state pageant. I lose. Go back the third year, compete in the state pageant and lose. Go back the fourth year, compete in the same pageant and lose. I go back the fifth year, y'all. <laughs> compete in the state pageant and lose. But guess what? I go back the sixth year. Guess what happens? I lose. <laughs> I call her on the phone and said, you told me I could be the next Miss USA. And she says, Deshauna, keep working, keep working. Don't quit, keep going back. And in June of 2015, she passes away from leukemia. Six months later, in December 2015, I win Miss District of Columbia, USA. And six months after that, in June of 2016, I become the first soldier to win Miss USA. At times, our purpose drops in our laps as if the heavens threw it by accident. I ask only one thing of you all today after you leave this building. Do not fear failure. But please be terrified of regret. Giving up is the birth of regret. After you walk out this door, you will receive a hundred doors shut, slam in your face. You will have a hundred moments that will be filled with someone telling you no, or telling you, thank you for your application, but we regret to inform you that we've chosen a different candidate for this job. You will sit in a hundred different interviews and you will not get the job. The reality of life is that we will all hear more no's than we hear yeses. And we will fail a lot, and I mean a whole lot. But what I ask of you today is to not take no for an answer. Don't be afraid of no's. Be afraid of the possibility of a yes that you have prematurely destroyed because you decided to quit before the clock strikes 12. I love a good no. Please tell me no. Telling me no is like adding fuel to a fire that is now set ablaze because of your single no. So today I challenge you to fight, to work, to not stop here, to believe so heavily in your aspirations that you too will not fear the word no, but instead you will choose to welcome it. If you are at home and you're sitting on your couch and you are watching this right now, all I have to say is that this is hard work. I've worked hard for a long time, and it's not about, you know, it's not about winning, but what it's about is not giving up. If you have a dream, fight for it. There's a discipline for passion, and it's not about how many times you get rejected or but you fall down or you're beaten up. It's about how many times you stand up and are brave and you keep on going. Thank you. Be patient. <laughs> Everything in life will go exactly how it's supposed to go. At times you will feel like an outcast, that you don't fit in, but you will discover that being your own clique will be your strongest attribute. In life, you're going to face many challenges, many moments of adversity. There are going to be a lot of successes and some failures too. Those moments are going to create your character, build your integrity, and they will become your beauty marks. 
On your journey in life, you may hear a lot more no's and yeses, but you'll let those moments motivate you, and those that said no will eventually wish they would have said yes. And to every girl listening out there, you will forever be empowered by knowing that no one, absolutely no one, can close the door that God has opened for you. All is possible because of God's grace. It's a woman's problem. It's a black people problem. It's a poor people problem. If there's any thing that I've learned is that we can only fix this world together. We can't do it divided. I cannot emphasize that enough. We can't let the desensitivity seep in. We have been denied opportunities since the beginning of time and still we prevail. So when we're marching and protesting and posting, tell your friends to pull up. Imagine what we could do together. But keep going because they're all watching. The ones who said you couldn't do it, the ones who know you can do it, the ones that want to know what you're doing, and the ones that want to stop you from doing